The following program is sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. Welcome to today's Home Remodeler. I'm Stuart Keith, and on today's show, well, we're walking through the process of residing this home. We'll begin with Andy Stry from Wausau Siding Systems, who will introduce our project and show what factors led these homeowners to replace their siding. Next, we'll visit the manufacturing facility to learn more about the rigid stack siding and diamond coat pre-finish system that provides a long-lasting finish with a 30-year warranty. And we'll finish up seeing how the rigid stack siding system provides full wrap protection, beauty, and the best value when residing your home. So we have a lot to cover today, and we'll get started right after these messages. When you look at a home, nothing stands out more than its siding. And for many homeowners, siding is just about the last thing they think they'll ever need to replace. Well, on today's show, we'll go beyond the obvious aesthetic reasons and look behind the siding on this home to uncover some unexpected damage and show why you might consider replacing your existing siding with a system that provides full wrap protection. So let's get started with Andy Stry from Wausau Siding Systems. Wow, Andy, beautiful fall day, great setting here right on the waterfront. I love the design of this house. Why are we here? What's the situation? Well, these homeowners are in the process of residing their home. And this home doesn't look to be too old. No, you know, it's only 11 years old, Stu, but we see a lot of that now in dealing with homeowners. Wow, that's surprising to me. But I love what they selected. This is obviously the new siding. I love the shakes up in the gable, the color choices. It looks like natural wood siding. And you compare it to the vinyl up top there, you know, at first, aesthetically, I can see why they're replacing it. Yeah, so they've selected the rigid stack siding built on the LP Smart side. And we'll learn more about that product throughout today's show, but let's get back to the reasons what led them to replace the siding. Sure, there's more than aesthetics sometimes, too, of why you would want to replace your siding. I'd like to show you some of those things today. Sure. So the first thing I want to show you on this end of the house, too, is, is some of the aesthetic issues that the homeowner wasn't real happy with. Okay. So again, the face nails on the trim here, and you see how the caulking discolor that picks up the dirt and things like that over time, oh, it just sure. doesn't look very good. Sure. Some of the other things that they noticed were the differences in, in how the product faded as it weathered. Look at that. This corner piece here was probably the same color as this 11 years ago, but in the sun, it faded differently. Definitely, yeah. And now it's really pronounced there. It's not very attractive. Correct. And even around here on the trim, around the exhaust, it's the same thing. Your eye gets drawn to it and it, it looks kind of cut up. It sure does. Some of the other issues that they were experiencing was some of the durability problems with this type of product. So you see some of the cracking on some of the accessories. Look at that, broken right off. You also see some of the damage again that get associated with these types of oh, siding products as well. I've seen that. That's relatively common on vinyl siding. I mean, whether you hit a rock with a lawnmower, put a hole right through it, but not only with vinyl, but 
You can dent steel and aluminum. I've seen that quite frequently too. Yeah, that can happen, yep. And again, vinyl products become more brittle over the years. They just don't hold up. Again, only 11 years old. It's amazing that you have to reside a house after that. Yep. You know, some of the other problems they're experiencing are these, uh, the bowing and, and, and just where the product has become distorted. Oh my gosh, that's probably just from the sun hitting it. There's no grill around here and it got so hot that it started to warp. Yep. Oh my gosh. And look at how loose this type of siding is on a house. I, I would venture to say there's not a whole lot of protection from bugs getting behind it or even moisture. Sure. And you're also seeing some of the same issues underneath the soffit, the siding's bowed. Really? So at the end of the day, when you're talking about residing a house and the reasons why, sure, aesthetics play a huge role in that. But if you take the time as the homeowner to go and take a closer look, there might be some real telltale signs that structurally, functionally, there are some good reasons to reside. It's not always what you see on the front side. Sometimes it's what's behind the siding. So once they started tearing off the old siding, did they uncover any other areas of concern? The contractors did run into a few things so far. So on the gable end of the home on the side, they ran into where there was no house wrap up on the top. You're kidding, no house wrap behind the siding? Not on the gable end. Oh my gosh, that could lead to some moisture damage, couldn't it? Yeah, water is always gonna get behind some siding and that could definitely allow a lot of water into that wall system. Was there any rot anywhere? On the front of the house, they ran into a lot of rot underneath the large window. <laughs> How'd the homeowners take that? Well, it was a big surprise. Sure, but it's probably good that they're residing, they uncover that and they could correct it. Right? Exactly, before it gets worse. Sure. So an area like this where we see a roof meeting a wall, that's a very common area where you can have a lot of water damage as okay, well. Okay, so this roof ties right in. I see what you're talking about. Right. So you're saying you won't be surprised if you uncover some more issues once this gets torn off. I wouldn't the be surprised at all. Where a roof meets a wall like this, Stu, that's a very common area to have lots of water damage. But with a competent contractor and a good siding system, all the issues that we've shown you today can be repaired. Stay tuned. We'll learn more about the rigid stack siding they selected next, when we continue with today's Home Remodeler. In our last segment, we learned how aesthetics are only one of the reasons for replacing siding on a home, and how these homeowners were shocked when their contractor discovered serious water damage behind the vinyl siding on their 11-year-old home. But fortunately for them, with a competent contractor and a quality siding system, these problems can be corrected. Now let's learn more about the rigid stack products they selected as we continue with Andy Stry out at the Wausau Siding Systems Manufacturing Facility. Earlier in today's show, out at our project, we learned that the homeowners opted to go with what you called rigid stack siding. So I'm curious to know exactly what rigid stack siding is. Yeah, so they've opted to go with rigid stack lap siding and rigid stack shakes. So what rigid stack is, it's a product that we basically remanufacture. So we build that product on the LP smart side substrate and LP Smart Side, that's very popular, very trendy right now, and it's a very good product. Excellent product for durability, weather resistance, and all that. So the rigid stack feature, we add the spline in the back of the board, and what that does, it's an insulation tool that gives a lot of benefit on the wall. Okay, so this spline right here, not to be the devil's advocate, but it doesn't look like all that much. Was there a lot of engineering? I mean, it makes the product that much better? Sure, let me show you how it works. Okay. So with the spline, by stacking that product on top of each other, it sets us a consistent reveal and it makes the bond between that lap siding 375% stronger on the wall. You're kidding. And so I assume that that's going to lessen the likelihood of any wind chatter if you got a windy day and less likely to have bugs get back in there. And probably, as I look here, the shadow line is going to be very consistent, a nice straight line on the side. Absolutely. One of the things with lap siding products is you can have that wind chatter on those taller walls. This eliminates that. The stronger bond on the wall and the, the better shadow line 
not every house is perfectly straight, right? Sure. So that's going to make us a consistent shadow line, so it's going to make the appearance of that wall be so much better. Wow, I love to see an evolution in an industry, and you guys have really taken a great product and made it even better. So as I look behind us, it's being manufactured. Just quickly take us through how it's happening. Sure. So along with adding this line to the back of the board, we resurfaced that top edge to make sure we have that consistent size to get our consistent overlap. Okay. And then we also add a nailing line into the top of the board to make sure that they place the nail at the correct placement. Okay, I see that right there, and that's very critical for the installation? Yeah, you wanna make sure that the product is installed correctly and getting that nail in the right place helps hold that board tight to the wall as well. So again, you're stepping into the contractor's shoes to show that it's gonna be consistently installed probably makes it easier for them as well. Absolutely. Okay, how is the spline installed? This machine we had specially built to do this for us. The laser reads the board coming down the line, pushes the spline into the board, and then it's off to the finishing. Wow, that's pretty cool. I love the automation here. So once the spline's installed, what's the next step in the process? Well, it moves on down the line into the spray booth where it gets the diamond coat 30-year no-fade finish. For more information on the Rigid Stack siding products featured on today's show, visit rigidstack.com, click Contact Us, and simply fill out the form. A remodeling consultant will be happy to answer any questions you might have, share ideas on your project, and even send product samples to help you with the selection process. So right here is where all the painting begins. Well, Stu, this is where we do our custom colors. And so what am I looking at right here? Well, basically what this machine does is it takes our, our seven pigmented colors and we mix those under very close computer calibration to get exactly the custom color that the homeowner is looking for. Really? And so you use the term custom color. If I'm a homeowner out there and I want to make a statement, I want to have my own color that nobody else has, I'm able to do that through your company? Absolutely. So we have 30 standard diamond coat colors, Stu. But you know what, not everybody likes those colors. Everybody has their own thing, or like you say, you really wanna make a statement. Uh, with everything on social media, it's all about color nowadays. So we can really help people get that color they're looking for. So as a homeowner, how do I go about that process? It's very easy. So we have a, a contact us form where they can submit a, a custom color request. All they have to do is send us in a small color swatch of what they're looking for. And Mike in the lab, he's gonna mix up a small batch He's gonna do a drawdown for that customer and send that to them so they can see that product painted with the diamond coat finish in their color. And so as I'm looking at this equipment here, this isn't so much for the line, this is just simply to create those custom colors? Correct. Our custom color process uses our exact same earthen pigments that we use in all of our diamond coat colors. So what that gives you is it still gives you your fade resistance that we can get out of a diamond coat finish. So we don't ever sacrifice quality to, to get the color that the homeowner is looking for. Now, you offer a 30-year no-fade warranty. What gives it that durability? So the 30-year no-fade warranty, we can achieve that by high-quality pigments that we use. Why are pigments so important? Well, pigments are really important because, first off, paints are different. Not all paints are the same. So high-quality pigments are going to give you better fade resistance. Where do pigments come from? The pigments that we use are naturally occurring earthen pigments. So an example of an earthen pigment is either a brick or a clay roof tile. Those, those red pigments that make that brick red, sure. they, they last you know, hundreds and thousands of years because of their naturally occurring colorants. Wow, you know, I've never thought of that when I look at rigid stack siding on the side of a house. I've never thought of it as being a stone or an earthen pigment or a tile. That really is good peace of mind for the homeowner then knowing that if they have a diamond coat finish with the earthen pigments, it's going to last a good long time. Absolutely. And you know, fade resistance is one of the big things. When, when people are buying painted products, if you don't have a high quality fade resistant finish, you are going to have to continue to repaint that. And that's what we're trying to get away from. Sure. Well, you can have the best products in the world, but it needs to be applied properly as well. Absolutely. You know, diamond coat is way more than the pigment. It's an entire process. We'd love to show you how we apply that paint. So here we are on our paint line, Stu, and you can really see the automation that we implement to make sure that we can produce quality product again and again. This equipment is pretty impressive, and it looks like they're finishing some lap siding. And you guys have so many different products and components. Are they all painted on a line like this? Absolutely. So we, we utilize the same type of diamond coat process with all of our products. Today we're running lap siding, but we can run trim, we can run panel siding to produce whatever we need for that job. Okay, so let's walk through the process. So one of the first things in the process that we do that nobody else in the industry is doing is that we sand and clean that board before it goes into the paint booth. The reason that we do that is we have a 30-year no-fade warranty. 
we want to make sure that that paint is going to adhere very strongly to that board that entire time. Wow, that's great. From a homeowner standpoint, you want it to last. You never want anybody to have to worry about it failing. Absolutely. And now you said it's unique to the industry, so nobody else out there is going to this attention to detail? No, we're the only ones that really have that long of a warranty. We want to make sure that it performs. Okay, so it starts with sanding the product. Now what's this? Right, so we sand the product and then it has to go through a cleaning process right before it goes into the paint booth. So that cleaning process is going to vacuum and brush and remove any of the dust or particulate that we get on there. And so you're going to the extra mile to ensure that you're never going to have to worry about it cracking, fading, peeling. That's ultimate in peace of mind for a homeowner. Absolutely, again, it's all about a long-term, low-maintenance product. That's what we're producing here. So once it's cleaned off, it's ready to be painted? Right, so here in the spray booth, you can see how our robotic spray system is now applying that diamond coat finish. To continue on with that diamond coat finish, when you're putting paint on a board, it's all about getting the right amount of paint on a board. Wow, this is pretty cool. Do you find that all this automation helps create a better end product? Absolutely. So with a wood grain textured board, it's all about consistency and that paint thickness across that sure. surface. That robotic spray system is going to do that because everything's moving at a consistent speed. Oh, because you want a wood grain finish, so you got to be able to see it. Whereas if you put too much paint on it, you'd take away from all that texturing? Well, if you don't have the right amount of paint on it, obviously too little of paint and you're going to weather faster and it's going to fail. Too much paint and it could actually, what they call mud crack, and what that's gonna do is it's going to, again, accelerate the, the wear. Again, you think about the automation here, it's, it's so important to get quality and consistency by having that automation. Processes that don't use a finish like this or a finished system like this, they're gonna have inconsistent amounts. If we think back to when we were painting product on the wall, brushing on the wall, sure. you're just, you're always have those overlap marks that never get it just right. Wow, this is pretty cool. You know, and as I look at it, I really like that color. What is that? The color that we're painting today is coffee. It's one of our standard colors. You know, it's a very popular color. We see a lot of trends toward dark nowadays. And so in your color palette, a lot of earthen tones there, a lot of trendy colors. Yeah, we, we fit with what the industry is looking for, absolutely. Okay, from here, where is it going? So from here, it goes directly undercover into our oven process. And how long is it baked in the oven? About 40 minutes. And why is baking so important? Well, baking that finish onto the product is important because we want that finish fully cured on that board before it goes into our packaging. And again, every step of the process is imperative to the durability of the product? Absolutely, if that product wasn't cured, it could come out on site with blemishes from being stuck together in the packaging, and, and that's just not gonna look right on the home. And again, at the end of the day, you guys are sincere in a 30-year warranty. You don't want to have any callback. Absolutely. Callbacks cost money, and we're not about that. Stick around. We'll learn more about the components that make up the rigid stack siding system next, when we continue with today's Home Remodeler. For more information on the rigid stack siding products featured on today's show, visit rigidstack.com, click Contact Us, and simply fill out the form. A remodeling consultant will be happy to answer any questions you might have, share ideas on your project, and even send product samples to help you with the selection process. So far in today's show, we've learned how aesthetics aren't the only reason for replacing the siding on a home. As we saw how water had penetrated the vinyl siding on this 11-year-old home, causing some major damage. Now let's see how you get your best value by installing a siding system that has all the necessary components to provide a full wrap protection. As we continue with Andy Stry from Wausau Siding Systems. You know, Andy, when we were out on site, I came to the realization that when someone is replacing the siding on their home, it's more than just the end result, just the siding that we see. It's really more of a system. Absolutely, so we're here at the training center. I really wanted to show you this. This is our contractor box. So we utilize this both with our dealer base as well as our contractor base to help make sure that a homeowner understands everything that's included in the WASA siding system. Well, look at all of these components. Now you're saying that a contractor who's interested in your product, you'd actually supply them with this to help them educate the consumer out there? Absolutely. Well, let's take a look at some of these components because there are a lot of them. <laughs> so if we break it down to start with, one of the things that is really unique is that we have a, a proprietary one piece outside and inside corner. Wow, so is this pre-made out in the factory so that you don't have to mess around with it out on site? It is, and probably one of the best features of this product is we have this built-in nailing flange. What that allows for is the installer to fasten it without putting any exposed fasteners through the face. So it saves all the time on touch-up. 
as well as gives the homeowner a great look with no exposed Boy, fasteners. I could see how this could be very valuable. I know what a pain that can be to do the touch-up painting. And then down the road, that painting won't be nearly as durable as the factory finish. Really what you're saying is you get a better end result with these components being installed. Absolutely, better peace of mind. Anytime that you penetrate that surface, you have the risk for potential for issue, that eliminates it. Okay, so the trim pieces are one thing. How about trim around windows and doors? Yeah, so we've got a trim around windows and doors that again utilizes the nail fin for that hidden faster look. And we also couple that with pre-bent drip cap. So again, when we go over top of our windows and doors, we want to make sure that we keep that water out of those areas. Look at the tolerances on there. I mean, that just slides right in, makes it much easier and a better looking end result. Yeah, you can't replicate a small bend like that on a break on site. So having it pre-bent, much better looking. We have a soffit and fascia system. Really unique how it locks together, helps make it go up easily. And what's most important is you get the same color when you're choosing your trim package, as you go around your windows and doors, you usually want your soffit to match. Now it's all a Dymaco finish, it's all gonna match. Boy, is that nice. Again, you're thinking of ease of installation too, how you plowed out the back, it just rests right in there, and you're gonna have the exact color match on your house with the other components. Yeah, and you can never get a wood grain like that out of a lot of metal products. So one of the other things that's really important is the, the rigid mount product. So every house has all kinds of penetrations going in and out, right? So you've got hose bids and, and you've got air conditioning, gas lines, things like that. Our series of rigid mount products really is the solution for that. Again, built on LP smart side, we've got that trim. It's got an integral nail flange, so again, no fasteners exposed. And best off, you've got the built-in drip cap that's gonna help ensure the water doesn't get into those areas. And that brings to mind to me is that with a system like this, all the flashings, the drip caps, the the durable finish. You're talking about a full wrap protection here of the home. It's much more than just the siding that we see at the end of it. Right. You're talking full protection. Exactly. Well, after I've learned all the components that make up the Wausau Supply Siding System, to me it's quite obvious why our homeowners made the right selection in their project. Definitely. Stay tuned. We'll head back out to our project next when we return to today's Home Remodeler. Throughout today's show, we've been discussing why to replace siding on a home. And while aesthetically it might be obvious, there can be other reasons that are oftentimes hidden behind the existing siding that need to be addressed, such as the water damage our homeowners discovered as their original vinyl siding was being removed. Fortunately for them, however, there is a solution to their problem, as they opted for the full wrap protection of the rigid stack siding system with a diamond coat finish. Now let's head back out to our project to see the system they selected being installed as we finish up with Andy Stry from Wausau Siding Systems. Wow, Andy, this project is turning out just beautifully and it looks like they're just putting the finishing touches on right now. Yeah, I got a few more things to go, but again, they're finishing up the siding, getting ready to put some shakes on the gable here. It's coming along. Yeah, and you know, one thing I've learned so far in today's show is that it's pretty obvious when you want to re place your siding because of the aesthetic reasons, but it goes much deeper than that. And I know there are some areas of concerns that you revealed when you were pulling off the old siding. Yeah, so this wall in particular was the wall I was talking about earlier where this had a lot of rotten decay down here that the homeowner is now taking care of. And, and just as a different accent, they put stone here instead, but again, it's part of the remodel. And not only here, but you hit the nail on the head on the backside when you tore off that siding, how rotted it was along the garage. The experience will tell us again and again, those areas are trouble prone and you saw how bad it can be. Yeah, but the good news is you can fix it if you're going with the proper siding 
system and a competent contractor. Absolutely. You know, flashings are key details, and we've got a lot of products to, to make that happen right way. Okay. Well, as I mentioned, it's part of the siding system, and back at the training center, we learned that it's exactly that, a lot of components. Here out in the real world, let's take a look at some of those components. Yeah. So right behind you here, our one-piece outside corner. Again, it's got that nailing flange on there, so all of our nails are fastened here. No fasteners through the face. Again, keeping that very clean, very good looking. Locked in there, very rigid. I also like this. Easy to work with for the contractor. They just have to notch it out. It's just like working with wood. Yeah, way easier as a one piece than trying to piece that together on site. Exactly. Here we've got our rigid stack starter strip. So this would be the metal option to start that product. Okay, and flashing, you talked about how important that is. Color matched as well. Yep, absolutely. Again, showing the flashing details up above on that band board too, making sure that water gets kicked out above that window area. You know, one thing I really like, we talked about the diamond coat finish, but when you get up close and personal with it, it looks just beautiful. And it's not too much that it takes away from the wood grain detail that we all want. We want that wood grain look and sometimes if you go with too heavy a paint coat you're gonna lose that detail but with a diamond coat you certainly don't. No absolutely again it's all about putting that consistent finish on that board to, to protect the board as well as accentuate that wood grain. And you touched on with the rigid stack the shadow line. I just love it here and it's consistent on each piece. Absolutely yeah consistent overlaps consistent shadow lines because that locks tighter to the wall. Again, 375% stronger bond feel that, so it's, oh, it's really tight to the wall. Remember earlier when I was pulling on, yeah. barely pulling on the vinyl siding, it would just peel right off. Right. No way you can pull that off. No. Now over here, is this a starter board that's a little different than this? Right, this is that starter board that was in our contractor box. What this product does is this is a PVC product, so it's completely impervious to moisture. We want to make sure we protect our bottom course of siding from our dirt or our grade. Sure. So again, we give that bottom course of siding a little bit of buffer. We can mulch right up against it. It's not going to hurt anything. Boy, I like it too because it's color matched again, part of a system. Yep, great looking wood green. Again, everything blends together nicely. And one of my favorite components in the system is the rigid block. And there were a lot of them used on this house. Absolutely. Again, does a great job at helping blend into the siding because the grain's going parallel to the siding. And most importantly, it protects that for water penetration into the house. Well, again, I can't stress enough how much I learned how if you want to get your best value when residing your house, don't look at the end result so much, the siding. Look at it as a system and all the components that make up the system. And then make sure you have a competent contractor installing them so you get your, right. again, a quality end result that works the way it's supposed to. But what happens if I'm a homeowner and I want rigid stack in my house, but I don't have a contractor? You know, we can help you with that, Sue. So all you have to do is log on to our website. We have a form to fill out. We can very easily hook you up with a dealer of where to buy the product from, as well as a contractor that can come out and talk to you about your specific project. So really, at the end of the day, you're most concerned about the end result for the homeowner. A quality product installed by a competent contractor, homeowner's going to get their best result and be happy for years to come. Yeah, you know, we even go as far as we can send the homeowner samples. We can help them with their design, their color process, picking out their choosing their colors. Anything they're looking for, we're happy to help with that process. That's just awesome. It couldn't have picked a better project. I appreciate you coming on today's show and sharing it with us. It's been my pleasure. For more information on the Rigid Stack siding products featured on today's show, visit rigidstack.com. Click Contact Us and simply fill out the form. A remodeling consultant will be happy to answer any questions you might have, share ideas on your project, and even send product samples to help you with the selection process. Cut. The preceding program was sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network.